Coming in brown, blue, hazelnut, green, and gray, eyes allow us to see the wonderful world around us in true three-dimensional binocular vision. Eyes have been a major part of society ever since society was created. They have influenced us in countless ways and still are to this day. This amazing organ of vision has been incorporated into music, movies, art, and even robotics. In the following film, we will go through some, but definitely not all, of the major organs of this biological camera. The first stop on our tour is the lens. The lens is approximately 5 millimeters thick and 9 millimeters wide and is made up of around 20,000 thin concentric layers made from proteins called crystallins. Acting in almost the same way as lenses in most prescription glasses, the lens of the human eye is pulled by ciliary muscles which change the curvature of the eye and allow us to focus on objects in our surrounding environment. In front of the ciliary muscles and between the lens and the first humor is our next stop, the iris. The iris is a concentric ring of colored muscles that have an opening in the middle allowing light to pass through, this being the pupil. The pupil is constantly being resized by the iris to allow the same relative amount of light into the eye. During the daytime it is small and allows a reasonable amount of light in. During the night it is very large, letting in as much light as possible. Too little light can make sight difficult, and too much light can damage the retina severely. Next stop, the retina. A sloping landscape of photosensitive cells known as rods and cones, the retina is the CCD, charged coupling device, of your eye. However, instead of a contrast ratio of 400 to 1, as in a digital camera, your eye has a contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. When light travels into the eye and onto the retina, the rod and cone cells release either retinal, opsin, or photoopsin. The opsin in these chemicals open up ion channels which lead to the generation of an action potential which is shot through the optic nerve into the brain where we finally see the image. To maximize vision and light absorption, the retina is a relatively smooth but curved landscape, except for two places, the fovea and the blind spot. At the fovea, there is a concentrated amount of rods and cones which enables high acuity, necessary for reading, and is largely responsible for color vision in humans. The other indent is the blind spot. This is where the optic nerve connects to the retina, and here there are no photosensitive cells, making this small part of the eye literally blind. Opsin, rods, retinal, foveas, aqueous humors, photoopsin, pupils, and crystallins. It is easy to be swamped by the very basics of this organ, and yet they all work in perfect unison millions of times every second. How did the eye come to be? Was it a long process of evolution or were they created by an intelligent designer? Future technology may give us a better idea, but for now, all we can do is keep our eyes wide open.